AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the as the Cowboys get set to match up with Matt Ryan. This will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. The former Indiana Hoosier here. Test swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally yeah. and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. They'll run it now out of the gun. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage in their clearing space. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Ryan. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Prescott now on second down. Over the middle, Amari Cooper. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. On third down, it's Prescott. He's going to find his man. That's Tavon Austin. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. Four down, four down. A first down carry by Elliott, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding him to no gain. Second down, Prescott drops it underneath Elliott. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Three, 
So two. They go play action here on first down. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Vic Beasley in there to get him for a loss of five. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Prescott from the gun. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. It's a gain of six on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. The confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sidelines thinking to themselves and expressing, let's keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it'll be fourth down. So they'll say no to the 50-yard field goal try. Instead, the offense out there, they're going for it. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. That's to his running back, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy. A first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. First and ten at the 19. From the red zone now, Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll roll him out right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They'll throw again. Prescott flush to his right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Here's Elliott. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Six yards puts him right on the doorstep, but now it'll be fourth and goal. There are certain drives in a game where anything less than a touchdown that caps it feels like an absolute disappointment. This is one of those drives. And this one is right through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on me. I was. I was. It sounds, like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it.
But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Falcons coming back out here onto the field. This has been a team that's had an interesting season. The rough start, then they picked it up some. As you look in your crystal ball going forward down the stretch, what do you see for the Falcons? Well, I think on the surface you would think the injuries are just too much to overcome on the defensive side of the ball. But the way they've been playing recently, they put everything on the offense and just asking the defense to do just a knowns. Mohamed Sanu, the rookie Calvin Ridley, Tevin Coleman and Edo Smith running it and catching it. They're starting to put up points in big numbers and making people chase them each and every game. And they may want to start to pad some wins now because three of their last four in the regular season are on the road, including trips to Green Bay and Carolina. About three yards there to the 27. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. And an alley to run. And avoids the contact by sliding. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Gets him nine yards and a first. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. They'll run it now out of the gun. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. Ryan now to throw on third down. Escaping. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And Bryant's kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. Dallas getting the ball again here on offense, and the Cowboys haven't been able to build a ton of momentum if you look at their 2018 season as a whole, Charles. In fact, the first seven weeks before the bye earlier in the year, it was kind of like flipping a coin. It was loss, win, loss, win, loss, win. So I don't know what you make of this team. You would actually expect that coin to come up heads two times in a row or tails two times in a row, wouldn't you? I think they will see the second half belong to Ezekiel Elliott because the move to get Amari Cooper out wide should open things up a little bit more, and he's such an impact player, and that's how they play best. Him leading, running the football, and establishing the line of scrimmage. And also working in their favor, there's absolutely no one running away with the NFC East. Yeah, Redskins and Eagles, they're in the mix, obviously, at the top. But you're right, just above 500. Here we go, 46. Here we go, 46. 46, 46. A first down throw for Prescott. And 
and his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, Charles, a year ago at this time, I asked you what your Thanksgiving plans were, so I got a funny answer out of you last year. I'm going to ask you again, what are you doing for Thanksgiving this year? Trying to figure out exactly what time I can kick everyone out of my house so I can just <laughs> hunker down and watch what's left of the football schedule. That's what I want to know. Oh, come on. Your mother-in-law is coming in. It's going to be a great time at the Davis household. But she can stay as long as she wants. She's family. But everyone else, get they, out. they have an expiration time. What about the dogs? Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And a return across midfield and to the 46-yard line. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. He looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Tyrone Crawford in on the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. On second down, here's Ryan. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. On third down, Ryan on the screen. This is Coleman. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. This would have been a 54-yard boot had they tried a field goal, but they will not try a field goal. They're going for it. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on to punt. Back deep is Tavon Austin. And now here, Deception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. The expect is from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. A false start backs them up five, first and 15. Throwing Prescott looking deep in the direction of Cooper. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. On second down, Elliott. And a nice run to get this up over the 20-yard line. Call it seven yards on the carry, so a pretty good gain, but still left with a tough third and eight. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. To throw is Prescott. Flushed out right. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. It's caught inside the 25. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, a combined output in half number one. 
Could be first touchdown wins. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. A second down throw for Prescott. And that's complete. It's the Carter Cooper connection. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. It's funny, when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper, and we mentioned, yeah, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically <laughs> what it said, right? I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you're talking about covering them with one guy, it pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Vic Beasley in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. In practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, and have them back on their heels. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. That's taken on the 25. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can the offense do what they wanted to do at the half, which is find those weaknesses and now attack them and score some points. And break this tie. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. On third down, it's Coleman. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Hey, let's go. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Tough running there. That's a hard-earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. They'll run it now. Out of the gun. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Now it's Ryan. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. Now 
Now Ryan on first down. And this one brought in by Sanu. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They give them 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. On the tackle, it's Randy Gregory. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Back now in Arlington. The Falcons on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. He cannot wiggle free. They stop him at the line on fourth down. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And this defense continues to give them fits. They just can't get really anything going on the ground, can they? I love the theme that you just brought up. This defense has been tough all game long against the run. We just saw another example of it there. Now Prescott. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. And this is going to be intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks him. And he will score. Touchdown, Falcons. In a tie game, fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was, that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run. Read it and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken at the three. And he breaks it all the way out to the 38-yard line. Great return. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 38. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Looking to throw. Prescott throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. A pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Prescott from the gun on third. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw deep rights. It's caught inside the 25. 
And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And a gain of 39 that time. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. He's going to go up top for the end zone. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. The game is to Elliott. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. And he'll get them inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. 26, 26. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. And this is caught. Amari Cooper. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. They come up on a first and goal and most likely four down territory as they need a touchdown and the PAT for the lead. Prescott. That's complete right around the eight. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that'll make it second and goal. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. 47, 47. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will have the lead if they can hit the PAT. They do tack on the extra point as well. And that is going to put them on top by a point, and it sets us up for quite a finish. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that will carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. Back to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. He's back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Yeah. 
So a good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. They'll try to run some clock now with Elliott. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. And the Falcons going to use another timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Now Prescott, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. They're only in need of a field goal. A decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. They've worked on these situations they practice this all the time. Oh, they all the time. They know what they want to get done. And in a lot of cases, the great competitors, they love this situation. They think they can go ahead and get it done. They practiced it. We'll see if practice makes perfect. They'll look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. Sean Lee, the linebacker, able to get a hand in and coverage. He has had a great game defensively. He's been east-west, north-south, everywhere. Yeah, and I love how you described that because to be a great defender, you have to be able to move up and back, sideline to sideline, and he's been fantastic. Reminds me of a young Charles Davis when he was playing that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. I thought you were going on the field, but okay, I see you. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. In position for the possible game winner, but they need to get up and spike it. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw, and he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive. And they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Here's Bosher to kick it away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They have time here, partner, for just one final heave. And I have to look at it from the defense's perspective here. We know what they're going to do on offense. The Hail Mary, try and get guys down there and throw it in the end zone, tip it around and catch it. You've got to have guys back there to defend that. But also, you can't allow the quarterback as much time as he wants to set up and throw it. Maybe you bring a little extra pressure to make sure he gets rid of it quicker. A little bit of a cat and mouse game. We'll see if they bring that pressure. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from Big D.